people i hope you guys have been good so this is me keeping to my word that i will post more frequently i hope you guys have been good so today i'm taking you through arusha a place called kutoka lodge you know you guys i i get the good spots i get the good good spots so anyway i really love the place i love the service i loved <laughs> The ambience, I just basically loved everything about them. I'm gonna give you all the details, I'm gonna take you through the whole um, journey. I hope you enjoy. Bye! So, the drive is supposed to be about four hours, and to avoid traffic, I wanted us to leave at night. We were supposed to leave around like 3 a.m., but we left at 5 a.m. It was not bad, it was not bad at all. So, it was a good drive. First of all, no traffic, so yes. And then there's the view, the view, the view, the view. If you definitely um, love nature, this this is basically the time to have that drive. Like, you know, early morning, catch, catch the sun rise. At this point, the sun had not risen yet. But are you seeing how, you know, just the view, everywhere looks so good it was it was a good drive uh zero traffic like i said and just avoiding people being on the road that's a good drive to have and it's just soothing enjoying the music uh, having that you know tranquil moment it was great i really loved it i don't regret leaving that early because we got to enjoy this so yeah Plus, if you haven't noticed by now, in so many of my videos, I prefer traveling at night <laughs> than during the day or rather in the evening, but at night mostly or early in the morning. Basically, anything that comes with darkness, I'm in. <laughs> I'm totally in for that. So yes, and you get to catch so many views during the night and zero people, you see. Like, look at that. That was the sun rising. So... I, I just was enjoying this moment totally like I wouldn't trade this for anything else I was enjoying this moment plus I guess one thing that I love traveling at night or very early in the morning is evading all the border borders like <laughs> if you drive around you definitely know that you want to avoid border borders you definitely know that they just get to you know they get on your nerves when you're driving so this is another plus you avoid them they're not there at this point so you just enjoy the views <clears throat> so right there is we're almost at the border that's old donio Oroch, you know it's near mount longido and this is actually one of the most unprotected uh, uh it is <laughs> protected by natural forests <laughs> and mostly unexploited so at this point we were near the border i was enjoying the views it was early in the morning that's why you're seeing it looking like that but enjoy the views basically just enjoy the views so of course if you're driving you definitely need these things before you go to cross the border the first thing is the passport your passport if you don't have a passport you can get the paper passport the temporary passport uh, where you get it online and then print it out uh it's valid i think for an year or so i'm not sure i'm not sure how long it's valid for but you can get that one if you don't have a passport you also need a yellow fever certificate and a covid certificate you also need an original logbook because you're gonna leave your own uh you're gonna leave the logbook at the border and then pick it up when you're driving it's for safety for you and also of course for them because uh they don't want cars that are known to go you know like 
be sold there or something like that it's for safety purposes uh you need a first aid kit box you need a fire extinguisher you need a spare tire of course you know you not need to be ready and then you need a commercial insurance or rather you should take one that's what we took because the commercial insurance covers the driver the passengers um in case of an accident so uh along commercial region so of course Tanzania is along the Komesa region so we took that one it was about 4,800 for everything uh, but at the border you're able to get one uh, maybe for 2,500 or 3,000 but at the border remember that one is third party so I would advise that you don't get a third party one but if you prefer that one well and good as you as you wish as you wish so yes here we were just get, getting through immigration um getting everything checked and stamped of course <laughs> i was so excited so also i had to carry a bit of cash so the exchange rate at this point was 17 so i had like 5000 which is about uh 85 thousand five hundred tanzanian money yes because the rate was 17 so yeah at this point we had crossed <laughs> at this point we had crossed the border and if you know tanzania you definitely know that you're supposed to drive at 50 kilometers per hour on most places especially residential areas you're supposed to drive at 50 kilometers per hour nagging yes as a kenyan do you feel like flying i feel like you definitely feel like flying i feel like you definitely feel like you're crawling <laughs> but it was worth it so finally here we are in arusha i'm just gonna show you the room it looks really nice uh in total they have just five rooms and this is one of the rooms where we're gonna be staying at i loved how you know it's 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 formatted like they get they got you you know they're catering for you <laughs> and clearly we definitely need the mosquito nets being that yes there's so many mosquitoes at night there i loved that i loved how the bathroom looked like it looked really modern i like how everything looked it was it was more than in a very you know unique way i like modern places but if you know me you know that i love cabins so i was going for a cabin modern kind of look and this is what i got i loved how it looked like i definitely loved it and this is where you can get to study you know you can get to take your morning coffee as you think about life think about the economy you know <laughs> everything that goes through your head at this point and this had a mountain view i love the fact that this one had a mountain view so you're waking up to the mountain view i loved that fact look at that nature is just beautiful i love nature so trust me to get a place where i'm i'm gonna enjoy the nature i'm just gonna feel like you know so definitely this was one of the best peaks and this was the sweet <laughs> the sweet the sweet so the sweet didn't have a mountain view that's one of the things why i didn't just want the sweet because i was looking forward to the mountain view i mean who doesn't want to wake up to that view but the sweet still looked amazing i don't even i'm not gonna even lie i loved it it's just the fact that it didn't have a mountain view and i'm more of someone who prefers just being you know around nature a lot uh having good views when i wake up so that's why i picked that uh instead of the suite but the suite looked good look at that it looked really good so i mean if you're planning to come here and stay you're definitely gonna love it you can pick the suite you can pick the one that has the mountain view which are the one we prefer but i loved both <laughs> i really loved both
alafu jamani tulisamae kazi ya content creation si rahisi si rahisi kabisa lakini lazima tuwe na heshima tuwe na heshima kwa walio kwa you know jua wana to serve yani just have respect and all is well but you got to do the content creation no matter how it comes I was at this point so happy, showered, relaxed, chilling. Ah, it was a good time. Good times, good times, good times. So, yes, ndio, kazi ya content creation si rahisi lakini lazima toi chapa. So, this is the eating area as you can see. Uh here is where you can have your breakfast, your dinner when it's served, your lunch when it's served. So, this is the eating area. I loved this artwork. I love how it's open so you can get to enjoy nature as well as you're eating. And the fact that they have books right over that table. I loved that fact too. It's just the fact that I carried my books. I would have read some of their books. They had really good reads as well. So, we were here to enjoy some food. And then after some food, you got to pop some champagne, celebrate life, celebrate, you know, the goodness and mercies of the Lord, the favor of the Lord. Ah! The Lord has blessed us. So, you got to celebrate every day is a blessing. Just being alive, being healthy, it's a blessing and journey mercies, it was such a good blessing. So, yes, I was just enjoying that moment, you know, pop, trying to pop some champagne. Kidogo, ina nitatiza pale. But we finally did it. <laughs> we finally did it. I loved it. It was it was a good time. Cheers to a great life. Cheers to happiness. Cheers to attracting the best people in our lives, the best things in our lives. Cheers to all our hard work being rewarded. Cheers to being favored. Cheers to being, you know, uh better people because when you know better, you do better. So cheers to all that being just the best versions of ourselves and of course bringing the best versions of those people around us. Cheers to that. It was really a good moment. I, like I said, I loved it. I really enjoyed it. So at this point, I was busy reading some of my books and of course I had just to check. Look at that view. I keep telling you guys, like the view here was just everything for me. The view was everything. It was just chilled. It was a bit cold. It was in the evening. I was reading my book and I was just checking, you know, those are some of the guests that we were with us and then we decided to check out the nightlife so this club is called triple a <laughs> they had uh, some band and that's what we did well they say that everything that starts has to end so at this point we had to get back home I had a good time. I'm not going to lie to you. I had a great great time. I loved the stay at Kutoka Lodge. It was amazing. I was so bummed to go but what do we say? We got to get back home, get back on the grind. I loved everything about Kutoka Lodge. So, I'm just going to uh leave their details below if you'd like to visit Kutoka Lodge you're more than welcome to visit there they had oh i did not say about their food they had a very very like their chef oh my god mm. he is one who knows what he's doing so they had very good food really fresh really nice like the taste everything about their food was amazing and i love the fact that their staff was very helpful quite accommodative their staff was quite actually very magnanimous and basically i will say the person who served us i, I was gonna call him mr k because i'm not gonna put his name out here he was really helpful the whole time he would come and check on us when it's you know time to take breakfast time to take lunch time to have some dinner he was always you know he was always on toes making sure that we are well taken care of making sure that our luggage was carried to the rooms and uh, our luggage was carried back to the car everything was do you know checked up like he checked to see if we've left any of our luggage behind any of our stuff behind he was really really helpful till the last minute when we left he bid us goodbye and it was such a good good stay i enjoyed being in fatherland 
if you know you know <laughs> i enjoyed being in fatherland actually that is the first time i have gone to an airbnb in arusha i haven't been to an airbnb in arusha as much as i've been to tanzania and everything i've never been to an airbnb in arusha so i'm definitely gonna be checking out other gems in maybe arusha we'll see where the next place is but i definitely loved my stay there i'm definitely gonna go back because who can't go back to such a place i'm definitely gonna revisit the place as usual and tell a friend tell a friend to watch this video if you haven't subscribed please take a minute hit on stop on that red button if you haven't liked the video please like the video share the video i appreciate everyone who watches my content i appreciate your time uh taking your time to watch it i really appreciate it tell me if you've been to a place in arusha where you've been to how it was and till next time bye